morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, we are currently on our way to our jet skis. Um, sadly, I don't think we're able to go in take pictures or videos or anything. So if we can't do it, uh, you guys are going to miss the whole entire thing. But if we can, that'd be awesome. Uh, I'm not keeping my hopes up, though. We'll see you guys there. It's for 45 minutes, so we're going to have a blast no matter what. Just going to be unfortunate if you guys can't see it. With that being said, it's a good, nice day. We got a light rain last night, it seems like. Traffic doesn't seem too bad. It seems like er, er, most people have already moved out or they're just, you know, barely waking up now. But uh, we're going to be there in about 20 minutes. So we're going to be early, though. So at least we'll give you guys a shot of the area that we're going to be in, at least. So see you guys there. And uh, hopefully people can actually go to the speed limit today. They can go up to 40 miles per hour. Um, I went about 20 just because I'm getting used to it and it, personally I've never been on one before. You want to dress appropriate such as wearing you know like a bathing suit of some sort like water shoes that's what I recommend. Don't definitely wear something like your normal clothes. They do have you sign a waiver and definitely read that. Um, so like for example if you fall like if you fall off or, um, or if you get injured or if you injured their property you are held responsible for that. It was awesome. Like I was going full speed the whole entire time. It's a little obstacle course. Um, they explain everything for you. It's family health business or something like that. It's, they're really friendly and cool. Um, the, it's kind of sketchy getting there because you have to go through a boat yard. And anybody who's been you know, to a port or something, like all boat, boat yards are pretty sketchy. So like at first we're like, what the hell? But we finally made it to the boat ramp and the guy explained, oh, maybe here. And yeah, we're in the right area and just look really beautiful. The beach there is awesome and everything. Um, really good experience. They're really laid back and the rules are pretty simple. Like, yeah, if you get injured, you deserve to get injured kind of deal. Um, there's a lot of turtles there too. I didn't realize that they had turtles in this area, but I saw maybe eight to 10 decent sized turtles in the water just popping their heads up seeing what's up hearing the jet skis and everything and then going back down to whatever they're doing um but it was really awesome definitely worth the time and the effort and the money it's kind of out of the way to get there but it's a really good place to go for your photos so they take a bunch of photos they kind of cheat because they do you know like the whole 60 photos in one second kind of deal so they kind of rip you off on that but overall you get like i don't know 50 something photos and it only costs 35 dollars so it's a good deal they airdrop it to you or whatever it's called so be prepared for that if you have a phone or an iphone and stuff uh, but overall yeah really awesome uh I, I think i did at least maybe like 20 something laps in the 45 minutes that we were there and uh yeah we had a blast but uh they only have three jet skis so keep that in mind if you have a party larger than three you're gonna have to double book or something like that they only have three jet skis and they only allow three jet skis to be running the whole entire time so keep that in mind with that being said we are heading back to our hotel right now we're gonna get some food and get ready for our next appointment and we will see you guys later. Bye. Okay, so we got done with some meeting. Um, it's kind of like an investment meeting with Hilton. Uh, like a couple days ago, we were asked if we were interested in it. They said they're gonna give us money, a gift card, and then a bunch of points for their honor system. So we agreed, we're like, okay, it's only gonna take two hours, screw it, like, let's do it. So we went over the plan. They are super nice. Oh, do you guys want stuff? Do you guys need water, drinks, be super friendly? 
And immediately, like, as soon as we sat down and started talking to the person who's in charge of us, um, and she started talking about herself and her life, immediately I knew. I was like, oh, they're just gonna, they're gonna try to take money. That's all they're gonna try to do. Just a huge investment. That's what they're asking. So we go through the whole entire process. We're talking, looking at things, looking at the numbers, and then finally, you know, they're like trying to break it down to us. And ultimately, I was like, yeah, we can't do this. And they're like, well, what's the issue? I was like, it's a bad time. And I have schooling to do. Katrina's going to have schooling to do. I'm trying to get promoted at work and stuff. So we're going to be super busy. We have a wedding to plan, kids in the future and stuff like that. So ultimately, like, that was it. And as soon as we said that, I mean, everything changed. Their demeanor, the way they treated us, everything, the way they looked at us. They, could, they hated us. Like, you can tell. You can see in the eyes that they were disgusted in us. They told us to get out. They took all our paperwork, the paperwork that said what we were supposed to get as an incentive for being there in the first place. Not even investing, just being there. And they took all that away. They gave us our points, which by the way, 30,000 points is complete dog shit, people. It literally gets you nothing. It gets you like um, a, a lower tier hotel room than what you'd normally get. 30,000 points it's sad and then our gift card we were supposed to get a $20 gift card to an ice cream shop that is right down from our hotel guess what they didn't even want to give that to us they're just like oh it's fine they clearly kicked us out and that was it so yeah it was pretty bad bad experience but right now we're going to cheeseburger in paradise which is one of my favorite places to ever go to it's my favorite burger joint here in Hawaii so if you ever come down here feel free to go and do that all right so it's my one of my favorite places i'll go and show you guys what it's like inside i can't or well i can't get alcohol but i don't like drinking even one drink and driving but katrina's gonna have some their drinks are amazing they look awesome and they taste awesome so we'll see you guys there it's a long ass walk we're gonna park like about you know, five miles away so it's wonderful but we're getting to see you we're together and we will see you guys there Hello everybody, so we're at Wolfgang Puck because Cheeseburger in Paradise did not accept our COVID test even though we were told by one of their employees that they would accept it. The guy was like, how do I know it's yours? We've been to another restaurant earlier and like yesterday and they accepted it. So it is literally a hit and miss and this is very frustrating. Um, if you want to come to Honolulu, you definitely can try it, but I would not suggest coming here. Um, Maui is way better. Um, but we're here at this restaurant. It is Wolfgang Puck, so I'll take you there. seating as well as indoor seating they never mentioned about a covid test so literally it is a hit and miss to where you go okay so we just got our food oh <laughs> some mari mari taco that better be bigger here they are okay and then i got the hawaiian yeah, with crispy fries. So we'll see how this is. Oh, well, it's massive. Let's see how it looks. So it has like pineapple. So I'm gonna try this. Definitely. Let's see what Nick thinks of his fish tacos. I mean, I don't know. I guess it was what to expect from an express Wolfgang pup. Tastes bland. Really? I don't taste any flavoring, like any seasoning whatsoever. It actually like, looks literally all I taste is pico de gallo, the mahi mahi, and then guacamole. Like I don't taste any seasoning or spices or anything. It's like extremely bland. Is I mean, it? I can take this in one gulp too. That's how tiny these things are. I thought it would actually be huge, like decent sized tacos. Disappointing. Is it dry? Because it looks dry. Not really, but it's definitely not completely like juicy mahi mahi. Like, uh, it, kind of, it kind of tastes like it's been sitting there for a little bit or it's overcooked. 
It has like onions on there. So I've had this like cheeseburger in paradise, which is really good. I love cheeseburger in paradise. I mean, it's the best. So. better turkey burgers than this like even Nick does like it's like this almost tastes like I don't know like fast food I mean the burger like here's what it looks like honestly it, I'm disappointed like the flavor I think I it kind of was better than the, this thing in general like honestly I think like yeah I'm not impressed with this for $35 it's not good And good morning everybody. So uh, we kind of ended last video a little abruptly. Just didn't feel like it had to be treated that way. Uh, we checked out this morning pretty early at 7.30ish. Um, front desk people are very apologetic. They gave us a uh, $20 credit since we couldn't go to Lampert's anymore and we didn't get our, uh, you know, our voucher like they said we would. Um, they were really nice. The front people, oh man, they were so sweet. They were apologetic understanding amazing i guess those two departments just bump heads all the time because when i told them what happened like the lady just looked at me like yeah this happens all the time so stand by for that if you if you aren't going to do that stuff it's not worth going to because they're just going to treat you like complete shit so anyways we're here at pearl harbor um i'm actually really excited and happy to be here uh, we will be taking a lot of videos and pictures, but it's probably not going to be a lot of commentary just because, you know, this place is really sentimental and everything, so, um, that's probably what's going to happen. We're going to be here for a little bit, and then we might head out and do some other end-of-the-day activities, but, uh, our flight doesn't leave until 11 o'clock tonight, or 10 o'clock tonight, so, we have a whole day to kill, literally, so, it'll be fun, but, uh, yeah, we're at Pearl Harbor, and, um, we're about to hit it, so, we'll see you guys there.
Oh, it is like super, super humid outside. It feels really bad, but uh, it was pretty awesome. Did the USS Memorial. Uh, I don't know, it's breathtaking. It really is. Knowing like the actual, what went down and everything. It's pretty nuts. Got a little teary eyed, but um, I don't know. It's, it's something you'll never forget. It's kind of annoying. Uh, I wouldn't say the kids are annoying, but the fact that like, you know, parents don't like teach them and give them knowledge of what happened and took place here because I was there and this kid was like this is pretty boring and I was like what like you do know you're literally like on top of hundreds of dead people who sacrificed themselves for your freedom kind of deal you know and like it was kind of disappointing I didn't say anything of course but like I really had to bite my tongue uh, so that was kind of sad but it was really awesome it was breathtaking we did that but they don't have a lot of food and drink options there so we actually want to go and you know have a hearty breakfast and stuff so we're heading out right now we're going to go and get something to eat and something to drink and stuff and then we might come back but we don't know for sure but yeah that's what we're doing so highly recommend it it's awesome all i would say is get there early get there early like we have been there for an hour and it's already jam-packed like you cannot get any parking so be prepared for that get here early super early to beat everything all the traffic and all that stuff uh we will see you guys later mm, smells good uh, a couple of food trucks here we're thinking of a restaurant but once we pass these we're like ah try totally check it out they have a leonard's bakery uh food truck for hot dog products so we'll definitely be going there but we're gonna look at all these other places, see what they got. Oh, these guys have noodles. Um, hopefully, we get some actual Hawaiian food. I just wanted to check in with you all and just let you know about the SS Arizona Memorial. Um, like Nick was saying about it, it was all true. Um, I honestly think it's a beautiful experience. It, it, it's very, it's very, uh, what do I say? It's peaceful out there. You want to be respectful of it since it is a cemetery out there. Um, so keep in mind also it is humid out here and you're going to be in the sun the majority of the time. And you have to wear a mask. And being wearing a mask out here and being humid in the heat, it is wears on you. It, it make, can make you feel sick. You can also, at the memorial, you want to be hydrated. You want to make sure you're drinking plenty of water because once you leave that boat, you're not. there's no water access. Um, be courteous to people and when you're out in Hawaii, um, basically be aware of your surroundings and don't be rude. Be, show the aloha. You're supposed to show the aloha to everybody here and you know, you want to be kind to everybody and respect everybody. So that's what I have to say and we'll check in with you later. So these are our tacos. I asked them how uh, hot their tacos were. And the lady said, if you want to be comfortable, try the normal ones. So that's what we went with, considering that our flight leaves in 10 hours. I don't really want to be exploding on the middle of the plane. That's what it looks like. Wow. Wow, that looks good. So really I think it's, uh, it's beef. You said it was cheese, cilantro, and some other stuff. Yeah, that looks amazing. Wow, it looks so much better than yesterday. <laughs> oh yeah, this Wolfgang Puck. Uh, you need to check in on your restaurants, man. Oh wow, look at that. Oh my Yummy. gosh. And looks this so one, amazing. I think is the Mahi plate. Oh yeah, that's oh, what I'm talking wow. about. That's what it should look like. That's what Mahi should look like. Wow. All right, that looks yummy. And then Katrina, do you want to open yours? Yes. So I got the uh, smoked beef, smoke regular plate, smoked smoke meat, yeah, <laughs> regular plate. So when you go to Hawaii, this is what you usually expect with your meals. Uh, two scoops of rice and then one scoop of mac and cheese. And one thing that uh, I think all Hawaiians can really uh, say all together is, you know a place is Hawaiian, authentic, real Hawaiian, the cook is Hawaiian and stuff. Um, it's all based on 
this little thing right here, the mac and cheese. That's the biggest thing. You, you immediately look at the mac and cheese and we already know if it's gonna be real or if it's gonna be really disgusting. So this is the real deal. This, that's how it should be. Obviously, you know, there's different kinds of mac and cheese that people make, but all together, this is essentially what it looks like. It's not the stuff that you buy from the store because that's really obvious, but uh, yeah, so smoked meat. Let's see what it tastes like, how it tastes. What kind of meat is it? I don't know. Really? But Let's see what meat it is. She doesn't know. It's beef. Alright. Let's see. Beef? Hmm. That is like yeah. really that is smoky. That wow. is really good. It's not chewy. Let's see what the mac and cheese tastes like. Good. Delicious. Yep. The mahi mahi. Garlic lemony glaze on top of it. Wow. Let's see what this tastes like. Sauce isn't overwhelming, very complimentary, amazing. Let's see what this tastes without the sauce first. Smells good. Wow, it has like a crisp, I can hear the crispy. That's good. <laughs> that is good. There's a different style of tacos. Mmm. You can taste all the meat has been, uh, you know, marinated and everything. Yeah, everything's super soft, it's not chewy. Kind of melts in your mouth. Yeah, that is delicious. Feel free, guys. This stuff is cheaper than restaurants here. I mean, when you go to restaurants, you're paying at least between 20 to $40 a plate out here. I mean, we're paying maybe 10 to $12 a plate here. So it's a lot better. We bought a lot just cause, you know, they're the last day, so we want to eat as much as possible. And also we did have a good breakfast. We really need to set ourselves up good for the day because like I said, we have a late flight at 11 o'clock. So we definitely need to stock up on this. So anyways, we're enjoying this. We'll see you guys later. Bye, highly recommend. Hello everybody. So we went to Lance, which is right, you know, next to the river food truck. And I had to have a malasada. Like these things are so amazing. Like strip it open. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. And these things are like hot, juicy. Oh, look at that. Mm. These are not a donut. They are just. They're really different. They're like a donut, but they're not. They're malasada. But these are so. Like I'm telling you, come to Hawaii. Make time, get them all set up. You don't have to go to Leonard, you can go to any place, like tech, we'll tell them. These are amazing. Highly recommend them, 10 out of 10. I'm gonna have to enjoy this. <laughs> They're really light. They're kind of like donuts, like you said, except without the hole. But uh, yeah, you can get normal ones. You can get like the outside flavor where it's different, um, you know, from strawberry, coconut, mango, all of that. And then you can get different fillings. So you can go without fillings. You can go chocolate fillings, custard. I think there's custard, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so it's custard. You can get coconut. You get like all these different flavors inside the actual malasada itself. And they're always hot, like they are, they're fresh. Yeah, now do keep in mind, if you do buy them, uh, don't keep them out in the open. Like if you're gonna keep the box or whatever, don't just leave it on the counter, like put that in the fridge or something. Because if you leave it out, you gotta understand, it's a tropical island, so it's very, very humid. And it'll ruin the dough and everything, so it'll just become soggy. So make sure you go and really take care of it so you can enjoy it every time. With that being said, we are going to kill this and we will figure out what activities we want to do next. So we are like feeling food coma right now. I'm like, we are so full. This food out here, especially if it's like actual Hawaiian food, not like touristy, trendy stuff that everybody goes to. This food will fill you up, especially it will make you thirsty. 
so we are really feeling it right now. The boat chug like a bottle and a half of water. And we eat like our whole entire plate still. Yeah, I'm about to pass out. Oh my. Oh, we have, we'll see you guys later. <laughs> yeah, we have the AC cranked up and we're relaxing right now. So yeah, we're pretty beat. <laughs> we're going to the Fun Factory. It's our arcade video game place. So we're gonna see how this is. This thing does not hold on at all. Yeah, we've experienced better machines that are like this. It looks like it. <gasps> we got three! Oh, damn! Beast, beast. Come on. Come on, clamp down. Yes, we got one. Yay! Katrina got it. Alright. We got a winner. Try it again. Come on, clamp down. Oh, I think like these, yeah. these claws are so bad. Alright. Okay, everybody. Pull okay. the handle to spin the wheel, hey. Hey, it looks like you might land a big one out here. Hey, that was a pretty nice spin with 75 tickets and all. You want to do it? Yeah, let's do it. See if you can actually spin it. Oh, it's still counting. It's taking a sweet ass time. Yeah, you don't want to take this long. Hold on. To spin the wheel, eh? Hey. Hey, you spun that wheel so many times, I think the fish may be busy. Come on. Big money. Oh! Four tickets. That was almost Wait, a four. big oh, bonus. Well, at least you got yourself four tickets, though. Four. Be a good sport. Play again. That is more of a kind of exciting. Ah, ah, ah. I got 30 tickets. 30 tickets, sorry. Okay. Three, one. Oh, shit. What was that? Was that? Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I get the middle. She's not good at it, but she likes the ball. What was that? Wow. Yeah. Really good. Really? I right, get a strike. Come on, let's get a strike. Nope. Oh, go. Six 
Yeah. That was our worst one yet. Game and a half. So Welcome to Oop the Back City. 